YouTube team keep it clean it's so weird doing a post game thoughts video on a Sunday because we've been doing these for years on Mondays because usually the games will be on Sundays and then sometimes on Thursday but anyway I hope y'all are doing really really good um shout out to everybody that came to the stream last night I know it was just a halfway stream because I, like I told y'all I had uh some of my, my friends who are pretty much family they were in town and I was like, ah, I told him my dad I had to work. But then at the same time, I was like, you know what? Let me just cut this short so I can go uh, We go over there and vibe and chill and whatever. So, you know, it was fun. It was fun. Um, so there was a little bit of the game that I missed. Um, but it's all good. Um, but, yeah, in the post-game thoughts, as you all know, uh, this is where we talk about uh, the game that we watched. Uh, and in this case, it was the Ravens' last preseason game. Um, it was week three, and now the preseason is officially over, and the Ravens, they extended the streak. They extended the streak for another year. So what are they, 23-0, I think? 23 straight? And that's crazy. That's crazy. And again, I know uh, it's easy to be like, oh, man, it's just preseason. And it is, but still, to have not lost a preseason game in years, that's, that's it's like a weird kind of significant, if you get what I mean. Because uh, obviously it doesn't count for the regular season, but it's still like it gives you a nice little something to think about. Um, but anyway, uh, last night, um, from what I did see, uh, Anthony Brown, man, I have uh, I have loved watching him this preseason. I I've loved it um, because I, I love how with Anthony Brown, he. He he gives you like options, and what I mean when I say that is he'll do the ding and dunking, he'll do that, he'll do the short stuff or whatever. But he all also takes those chances on them deep passes too. He will take his shots downfield. He will give them receivers an opportunity and a chance to go make a play on the ball. And he doesn't play scared. He doesn't. He also does. He doesn't play reckless. Well, that, that interception that he threw uh, was it last week or the week before last? It was a bad interception. But besides that, he, he does not play recklessly. And he can move, too. That boy, Hey, that boy can move, man. That boy can move. So, man, um, I still don't think Ravens are going to keep three quarterbacks. But I love the fact that Anthony Brown is putting the pressure on him. He's putting that pressure on the Ravens to be like, hey, like, hey, what's up? What's up? Because... I figured, like, and I figured this all, all off season, like, all right, Ravens, Lamar Jackson, obviously, and then Tyler Huntley. Um, and then they're going to keep a quarterback on the practice squad. But I feel like Anthony Brown, like, he, he pushed. Like, I feel like he really gave a nice push uh, to make the Ravens consider, like, having another spot uh, for him. But, well, I mean, we'll see how it all shakes out, though, because now um, it's cut down time. It is cut down time and so yeah, it's going to get crazy over these next, this next week and, and change and whatnot. Well, not even next week. Yeah, no, the next couple of days. Because I think, is it Tuesday they got to have it down by? I think it's Tuesday. It's usually on Tuesdays. But anyway, we'll see. Um, so, yeah, uh, Tyler Linderbaum, he played in his first game. His first NFL game, yeah. His, his first one. Because um, he missed the first two weeks. And, yeah, he's back. So, again, shout out to Harbaugh for... Uh, Harbaugh did say one or two weeks, and Linderbaum missed one or two weeks. So, thank you, Harbaugh. Great job. Um, but he, I didn't see any problems, any issues, anything like that. And, and this does put him on track for week one. So, it's nice to know you're going to have your starting center. It's nice to know that whoever ends up being a left guard, whoever ends up being, uh, that they're healthy going into week one. Right guard, Zyla, he's healthy. Right tackle, probably Moses, he's healthy. Left tackle is the only one where there's a question mark on if he'll play week one. And worst case scenario, if he doesn't, okay, no problem. Well, Ronnie Stanley, of course. Again, yeah, he, he got cleared off the pup list, which is great. You don't need to rush, though. Doesn't need to rush at all. At all. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, a question, while we're still talking about the quarterbacks, and we're not going to talk about too many position groups because I, I didn't watch the whole game, but i just tell you about what I did see. But one question uh, that one of my guys was DMing me uh, yesterday. He was like, man, do you think Lamar's going to have any rust? And I was thinking, like, no, he ain't going to have much rust. Because, I mean, he, uh, I, I say at the most it might be one or two drives where he's a little rusty. Mm, ain't no big deal. Mm, worry about that. But then he was like, well, wait, wait, no, no. He said, but Lamar has not played an actual game since he, was, he got hurt. And I was thinking, oh, oh, yeah, it has been a little while. 
Um, so, and with him not having played in the preseason at all, since game speed is different than practice speed. And, oh, okay. Then I was like, okay, I, I get what you mean now. But I, I still don't think it's anything overly concerning or anything like that. I do see the concern, but I don't think it's anything like crazy, anything like that. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, who else? Uh, from the running backs, I, I mean, I saw, saw Beatty. Beatty continues to look comfortable. Um, and he, uh, again, I just, I just imagine him behind a, a starting offensive line. And just imagine how, how much better he could do. Because in this whole preseason, he looks solid, man. He looks solid. Um, who else? Ben Mason. Ben Mason made a nice little uh, Pat Ricard type catch, um, I believe. Um, but really, last night, the, what I, my, the biggest thing last night for me um, was Demarcus Robinson. Demarcus Robinson, that was his show last night. Um, Demarcus had like four catches for like 100-something yards, high average. I forgot what it was, but obviously the biggest catch was with when he put that little move on that cornerback. And Demarcus Robinson said, hey, yeah, y'all gave me all this guaranteed money. It's a low contract, but it got high guaranteed money. It, it, again, it's, it's not. I think it's like a million dollars, something like that, but he got like 895000 guaranteed, something like that. His contract is very low, but most of it is guaranteed. And he showed you why last night. And he even missed a touchdown last night. But he showed you why last night. Like, hey, yeah, I, I got y'all. So my guy JT said, hey, he might even be pushing for wide receiver two or three after that. Um, especially with Proche still being out. Don't know what's happening with Proche. But again, um, we're going to get a lot of answers to our roster questions over the next couple of days. Because a lot of decisions have to be made. Now all the speculation that we've had, all the wondering and questions and this and that that we've been thinking about, now all of that's going to get answered. All of it. So, clock is ticking. Clock is ticking. Um, Benjamin Victor, I saw he had a, uh, he had a nice catch last night. Um, I just don't know if it'll be enough, man. I don't, I don't know if it'll be enough. Makai Polk, Shamar Bridges, um... They just, things got a little quiet for them uh, after that that first, was it the first preseason? Yeah, after the first preseason game, stuff got a little bit quiet uh, for them. So, overall, um, but we'll see. We'll see, man. Um, the last, oh, oh, Brandon Stevens. I, I remember in the stream last night, we, we started streaming and whatever, and I, I saw 21. I was like, what is Brandon Stevens doing out here? He, he does not need to be out there on the field for what? Why is he out there? But then the stream let me know, like, hey, some people not sold on Brandon Stevens yet. And I was like, what? And then uh, when he was at corner, I was like, oh, what? Ooh. And he was struggling. He he was struggling. And there were even opportunities that the receiver missed because the receiver dropped a touchdown pass. I think it was uh, Deami De De Brown. He dropped a touchdown uh, that because he, he had left Brandon Stevens behind. And he just dropped it. And um, so, yeah, he struggled. He, he definitely struggled uh, at the corner position. Um, so I guess, I guess he may be better, a better safety than a corner. Uh, we'll, we'll see how things work themselves out. Um, now a, a battle that I really, uh, appreciated, especially last night because of Josh Ross, he's been a talk with the Ravens town. Like, Hey, Josh Ross been making plays. Josh Ross done made enough plays to put himself on the roster. It continued last night. And, and I said it last night during the stream, where, like with Josh Ross, he ain't fast. He ain't got this crazy burst, but he's kind of like a um, kind of like a CJ Mosley, I guess. Because CJ Mosley ain't had this crazy burst. He ain't had this crazy speed, but he was so smart. And, and Josh Ross, he plays so smart, and he's right place, right time. Knows when to pursue. Knows when to take certain angles. Knows when to shoot the get. Knows how to do all that stuff. And, and he does a great job of it. He does a great job of it. He's a good tackler, too. I mean, yeah, that helps, especially if you're playing linebacker. But then last night, Christian Welch was like, hold up. All these people been talking about me, been talking about I ain't going to make the roster. Watch this. Then he what, got like a sack and a half, I think. And he was doing this. Stuff. I said, okay, Christian, there we go. So that's going to be a little tough battle. I don't think both make it. Um, So we're we going to see. We're going to see. Uh. Who else? Uh, I know, I think Crawford had his injury last night. Aaron Crawford, I think, that's his name, the defensive lineman. 
and they said it's gonna be serious. Somebody else had got hurt last night too. I cannot remember. Oh, Kevon Seymour, he got hurt too. And it's like, oof. Again, I, I just I hate when roster spots are determined by injury. But depending on what what it is with him, we'll see. He could be out for the year. It could be a physically unable to perform list. We'll see. Uh, only time will tell. Uh, our Darius Washington. I know again, just like just like last week, our Darius Washington makes the the game winning play. He makes the play to officially close it out, and he did it again uh, this week where he was covering the receiver who the quarterback was throwing to, and I mean it did look a little bit like a miscommunication too, but our Darius Washington made the play, and that was that. Um, who else? Yeah, I, I I can't think of anything else that really stood out to me like that. I mean, last night we were really just, we were really chilling, man. Because we were watching heavy, like early on. Uh, but then we just started talking, chilling. And then I got distracted. And then we end up uh, we end up leaving to go uh, chill with my people and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I, I can't. It's not a normal post-game thoughts video. It could be this, 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 and that. Uh, and, of course, y'all feel free in the comment section to fill me in on anything or anybody. Uh, that I missed because I would love to uh, hear about it. I would love to see it. Um, and I would love to know uh, how people looked. Um, but yeah, last night for me, um, it was really the Demarcus Robinson show. It was his show. So um, I love what I saw. Again, the speed. And it's, it's stuff that we knew that he could do. But it's just a matter of him doing it. And he did it in his first game. So hopefully he does it in his first game, his first real game too. Um, and they just they just build off of that. So, shout out to y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate you. Um, I love you. I hope everything is going really good for you. Um, just a quick little message. You don't have to follow the crowds. You don't have to always follow the crowds. Because a lot of times, um, the crowds, they follow a lot of negativity. They follow a lot of um, just stuff that's just not even not, not, not good for you. Um, a lot of times, uh, people, they, they come up. They get popular or whatever go viral just doing stuff that is just not good not good um but that's what continues to be promoted but you you don't have to follow that because it's, it's just so much stuff is just not worth it uh, but anyway love y'all y'all stay up y'all have a great day i'm gonna probably talk to y'all later on today uh, we'll see but we out